Hi, this is Ali Shama. We have installed the GPS, the first GPS from NASA that I got actually here. Uh, it's not the first one came out, but I my first GPS for the DJI NASA. And uh, I tested it yesterday. It's really, really working very sweet. Uh, uh, very nice GPS position hold and uh, very nice, uh, how to say that, uh, course lock that is intelligent orientation control. Actually, intelligent orientation control is very, very good for beginners but not for uh, intermediate or professional pilots or experienced pilots like us. Um, I always get confused. So what happened that when you put it in intelligent orientation mode and say home lock, for example, this position. Now, no matter if your head is pointing there, when you say home lock and left becomes left, right becomes right, back on, like pull on the elevator, uh, the quad comes closer to you, push on the elevator, it goes far. So basically an intelligent orientation control, this thing, left, right, come closer, go farther, no matter where the quadcopter's head is pointing. So make sure once you put it on a course lock or on a home lock, you will be very, very confused. So remember the basic formula, come closer, go farther, go left, go right, no matter. Uh, now, the, 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 now, the other thing is when you yaw and move the head of the quadcopter to any direction, this thing is still is left, right, come closer and go farther in home lock position mode. So uh, don't try it until you are not a beginner. If you're a totally beginner, it's really cool feature for you. If you're an uh, experienced pilot, it's not that cool. Uh, RTH, I haven't tried it, but today I did some trick to set RTH and uh, I hope we can try it today. So uh, let me see if I can connect the battery. Let's connect the battery and go for a flight. Okay, so what happens that, uh, let it uh, uh, wait here until it actually locks the GPS positions, like uh, GPS satellites, and it will give you a green light signal. Uh, when the home position is marked, it will give you green light signal. Or you can mark the home position by using your uh, norm, uh, course lock mode switch. Just move it uh, faster, on off, on off, and it will lock the home position. Okay, we got all the satellites. As soon as it should take off, it should actually mark the point of your satellites, uh, your home point where it actually takes off from. So it just marked the home point here. I will put it here. And I will mark another home point. So my this switch sets the uh, course lock and home lock uh, intelligent orientation control. So I will move it a couple of times. And there green LED blinks. There. So your new home position has been marked. I'll take off in normal mode, then switch to altitude and GPS position hold mode. Uh, this is normal mode. It's drifting away. Altitude position hold. It's holding its position but drifting away. Climb up, drifting away. GPS position hold. And there goes your another puppy in your hand. So uh, using the NASA and GPS system, we are soon going to launch X650V4 and of course Baby Widowmaker can use the same thing now. And you see it's just simply awesome. Now you can fly it around without worrying. And as soon as you find a good spot to shoot, stop, it will hold its position. And now you can actually yaw, move around without worrying and get your shot. Okay, this position should be enough to check all the things. Turn right, turn left. Somebody asked, what do I do when I'm flying? So here is my radio. With the GPS position hold mode, it's just focus your camera somewhere nice. I think I will descend a little bit. Okay, here, maybe go right. See, with the GPS position hold mode, it's just like that. You get a very, very clear shot because you're focusing on camera movements only. All right, so this is what I do actually. Mm -hmm. 
how I, I will shoot myself now, ourselves I should say. So with the GPS position hold mode, forget about controlling it. Just make sure your camera is pointing at the right direction and move it. And if you are really, really hot, like this summer day, I'm really hot. I can actually... Take some good wind out of it. Oh! Maybe I can also do this. Woo! That's it, man. Don't try these things. These propellers will cut you very bad. All right. So, slide around. For the RTH, what I did is I just set the fail safe. So, I turn off the radio now. I turned off the radio. No signal. No signal. See, my radio is off. And it's going up. Something is happening. It's going up and it should come back to its home position. Slow down. Oh, it's turning its head too. Wow, nice. All right, and it should auto land. You see my radio here? It's still off. Are you landing? I hope it's landing. <laughs> well, it did come home, it's not landing, so I'm not gonna uh, risk it anymore oh no it's landing something is happening it's landing it's waiting and landing so basically i think it waits for the signals that even uh, when there's no signal it will return to home and if there's no signal after returning to home it will simply auto land i hope it also turns off the propellers hey i have no radio no i have no radio Le it has landed and nothing is happening and it all actually you see my radio is still off I was almost going to turn it on but then all the motors have stopped so wow turn the radio on cool that's what I gotta say uh, for FPV flyers uh, for FPV quadcopters flyers for aerial photographers I think DJI NASA with the GPS is actually a very budget oriented solution for them to use Enjoy and I'm gonna set my FPV system and do some FPV here.